So we're going to start by um, setting up a new blank page. This one's in A3 landscape, the same as the last one. That's what we're going to stick with. So I'm going to say OK to that. And I'm, before I go any further, I'm going to save. And I'm just going to call this task 2 map. I'm going to put mine on the desktop for now. Uh, but yours obviously goes into your folder. So you can see at the top now it says task 2 map up in brackets. I know that this is um, undergoing and being saved. Okay, next we want to change our layers. So we go at the top here, there's a button called layer. If we click on there, it opens up a window. Now at the moment, there's three layers provided. And the easiest way to think of a layer is like a sheet of paper. So at the moment, there's three sheets of paper, one over the top of each other, uh, and they're all invisible. So we can put different things on different layers. We're going to name our layers, and then we're going to get rid of one of our layers as well. So layer one, I'm going to rename that. And I'm going to call it my drawing. And say OK. I'm going to do the same thing for layer 2. I'm going to rename that one, but I'm going to call this one Google Map. And say OK. And layer 3 I'm not going to use, so I'm going to remove that. So I've got two layers. Um, I'm going to click OK. Say yes to this. And you'll see at the top here now, this uh, on this drop down now, I can choose which layer I'm going to be working on. So in a moment, I'm going to bring in onto my Google Map layer a picture that I'm then going to trace over. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to bring up um, Google. There's a Google map. Now you can um, decide on your own area and you can play around with it. But basically you're going to use the snipping tool um, and we're going to choose that. I'm going to say a new snip and we'll just grab something roughly like that. And that'll do as my map and I can save that. I've already got one saved somewhere I think but I'll show you how I would do that. So there's my map. I could call this one map 2 if I wanted to use it. So I've got a second version of it. Save that in here. Don't need that anymore. Don't need Google Maps anymore. What I want to do now is bring it in. So I'm going to say File. I'm going to Import File. So I'm on my Google Maps layer. There's my map, the one I grabbed uh, earlier. Doesn't matter what it says up here at the moment. I'll just say OK to that. But then I'm going to stretch it. So I'm going to hold down my Shift button while I drag. And that's going to put my picture to a decent size. You'll notice I've already turned off, in fact I'll turn step lock off as well, so I've got no locking on my grid at all. I can put my picture anywhere I want and it's not quite where I want it so I'm going to move it across a little bit just to actually square it up a bit before we start. If I click off, so deselect it, so here now is my Google map that I'm going to trace so all I will do is switch through to my, my drawing layer so my drawing now when I draw on it I'll show you a demonstration of that if I actually draw a line here now. Okay, that line is on my drawing layer. So if I go back into layers and on the Google Map layer, I basically said don't make it visible and clicked OK. You'll see I'm left with just the line that I've drawn. Okay, so I'm going to actually go back and switch my visibility back on again because I do actually want to see it for the moment because I'm going to use it to trace off with. And I don't want this line because it's just a random line. So I'm going to go for delete any and I'll delete that one. If I'm on my drawing layer and I'm ready to go.